If you've ever wrestled with a stinky compost pile, waited months for it to break down, and hated the endless turning, you're not alone. Traditional composting takes forever and needs space, time, and patience. But what if I told you there's a faster, cleaner, and easier way to turn your kitchen scraps into rich, garden-ready compost without the stink or the sweat? Welcome to the world of Bokashi Composting, the no-turning, low-odor system that breaks down food waste up to three times faster than traditional methods. This isn't some composting shortcut. It's a full-on upgrade for modern gardeners who want results fast. Bakashi isn't your regular compost pile. It's a Japanese fermentation method that uses beneficial microbes to break down organic matter in a sealed, oxygen-free environment. Instead of rotting, your food waste ferments. That means no foul smells, no fruit flies, and no turning required. You can even compost things you normally wouldn't dare put in a regular pile. Meat, dairy, cooked foods, and oily scraps. The magic lies in a special mix called Bokashi Bran, made from wheat, bran, molasses, and something known as effective microorganisms or EM. These microbes are the secret workers that speed up the breakdown process. When food waste is layered with Bokashi bran, it starts fermenting right away, preserving nutrients and breaking it down into a pre-compost that transforms into rich soil food in just a few weeks once it hits the ground. You don't need fancy equipment or a backyard to start Bokashi composting. The basic setup involves two airtight buckets, one nested inside the other. The top bucket should have small drainage holes so liquid can seep into the bottom one. That bottom bin collects what's known as Bakashi tea, a potent liquid fertilizer you'll definitely want to keep. You'll also need Bokashi bran. You can buy it pre-made, but making your own saves money, and honestly, it's surprisingly easy. The ratio is ten parts wheat bran to one part molasses. To activate it, just mix one tablespoon of effective microorganisms, or EM1 solution, with one tablespoon of molasses in one cup of warm water. Then pour this over about ten cups of wheat bran, and mix until it's evenly moist. Not soggy, mind you. When squeezed, it should hold its shape, but not drip. Let it sit sealed for two weeks to ferment. Then dry it out. And there you have it. That's your active Bakashi bran, ready to go to work. Start by adding a small layer of Bakashi bran at the bottom of your inner bucket. Then add your first batch of food waste, about two to three inches deep. Sprinkle two to three tablespoons of Bokashi bran evenly over the scraps. If you're adding a lot of protein-rich items like meat or cheese, just throw in a little extra bran to help with fermentation. Press everything down firmly to remove as much air as possible, then cover it with a small plate or plastic sheet before sealing the lid tightly. Repeat this layering process every time you add more kitchen waste. The tighter you pack it, the better it ferments. Every two or three days, drain the liquid that collects in the bottom bucket. This is your Bakashi tea a concentrated fertilizer teeming with beneficial microbes. Before using it, dilute one tablespoon of the tea in one gallon of water, which is a 1 to 100 ratio. Once your bucket is full, seal it and let it sit for 10 to 14 days. Keep it indoors in a warm, stable temperature. You'll notice a pleasant, pickled smell. That's how you know the fermentation is working. 
white mold on top is a great sign. It means beneficial microbes are thriving. Green or black mold, however, means something went wrong, usually too much air exposure or not enough bran. When the two weeks are up, your scraps won't look fully decomposed, but they'll be soft, fermented and ready for the soil. Now comes the exciting part, turning that fermented waste into nutrient-rich soil food. If you've got an outdoor space, dig a trench about 8 to 10 inches deep. Mix one part of your fermented bakashi waste with two parts of your garden soil, then cover it completely to keep pests away. Within two to three weeks, those once visible food scraps will have fully integrated into the soil, leaving you with rich, crumbly earth that smells sweet and earthy. For a practical example, if you're feeding a 4 by 8 foot raised bed, that's about 32 square feet, use roughly 10 to 12 pounds, or around 5 kilograms, of bokashi compost. Mix it evenly into the top 6 inches of soil before planting. The microbial boost not only improves soil texture, but also helps plants absorb nutrients faster. During that waiting period, microbes will finish breaking everything down, creating a living, nutrient-packed potting mix that your plants will absolutely love. Speed is the biggest win. Traditional compost can take three months or more to mature, while bokashi can produce usable material in just two to three weeks after burial. There's no turning, no flies, and virtually no smell. It's perfect for small spaces and apartment living since the process happens indoors. Bokashi also handles a wider range of food waste, including cooked and animal-based foods that regular compost can't handle safely. The result is nutrient-dense compost that enriches soil structure, improves water retention and supports beneficial microbes. You're essentially building a living soil ecosystem that boosts everything from seedling vigour to fruit yield. And you know, because nothing really rots or evaporates during fermentation, you keep more nutrients in your system rather than losing them to air and heat. If your bokashi smells bad, it's usually because it's too wet or not sealed properly. So drain the liquid more often and add a bit more bran. If you see black or green mould, just discard that layer and start fresh, keeping everything airtight. Also, you know, it's important to avoid letting your bucket sit for more than two weeks after filling. Timing is key to keeping the fermentation healthy. Bokashi composting is, well, the modern gardener's secret weapon. It's faster, cleaner, and honestly, just smarter. You're recycling every bit of your kitchen waste into high-quality plant food, all while skipping the back-breaking labour of turning compost piles. And in just a few weeks, you'll really see the difference in your soil and in the health of your plants. So, if you're serious about growing lush, thriving crops without the hassle, stop turning compost and start fermenting instead. Your garden will, without a doubt, thank you for it. And if you found this guide helpful, don't forget to hit subscribe, share it with your fellow gardeners, and join the Timeless Crops Haven community for more timeless tips to grow better naturally.